3 a.m. Any idea where we're going? No. Nope. So we've got a bit of a drive ahead of us. Um, it shouldn't, oh, it shouldn't be too bad this time of the morning. So let's see how we go. Just pulled out of our street and straight across the road. Seriously? <laughs> Are we seriously going up in that thing? Oh my god. My whole life I've been saying I'll never go up in one of these things. <laughs> so, uh, here we are. Let's go in and have a little look around. A little bit strange. G'day, how are you going? You see those big ones? Or those big baskets? Yeah, I know, they're massive. We're going up in this one. Oh, no, no, no. They're going to let me fly it. No, they're not. Yeah. No, they're not. This one. Are we really going up in that little one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, so this is pretty exciting. Jay, one of the guys that uh, Adventure Bike rides, Gave us the invite to come along, so let's go find Jay. Hey, hey boys. Hello. How's it going? You're the reason. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, this is Di. Hi, Hi Di. How are Hi, you? nice to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. You didn't well, know? No, I'm going. Oh, well, how long will it take us to get there? Very long. He goes, Oh, it should be alright. The traffic should be alright this time of the morning. <laughs> Why is he indicating to go there? <laughs> well, this is um, oh, welcome, nuts. anyway. Yeah, thank this you. This is where yeah. I hide out. This is my little office. Oh, yeah. And um, that's where the pilots do all their checks. That's Dawal in the corner. That's Zendel. Oh, how are you? How are you going? Boys, how are you? Are you? Are you in the air. Yes, you don't mind. Sounds good. <laughs> I said my whole life I'll never go up in one of these things. <laughs> <laughs> I've yeah. just got a few more minutes. I'm just checking yeah. the weather and a few yep. other apps. And yep. then uh, cool. we'll jump in with Wayne and we'll go no and have worries. a look. No worries. Good on you. Right. Thanks, cool. mate. See you, see you guys shortly. Okay. Sure. So what's happening today is Jay, adventure bike guy, um, did a school with me a few weeks ago. He got in touch and we're going to go out and film today um, for my own vlog but we'll also give them the footage that they can use for marketing and different things they want so we're going to document the whole day which is really good uh, we're starting from here from their base in Bow Desert we'll go out with the crew and watch them set up and everything the other people will come in a bus they'll meet us out in the paddock somewhere we take off we land once we land they get back on the bus, shoot into Canungra for breakfast. We'll come back here to the base, get an hour car, meet them in Canungra and finish off out there. So, very uh, Stuart's, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pete? Yeah. Hey, Pete. 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 Legally, you can take up to 24. Wow. Comfortably 20. Yeah. But we're just going to have 17 today. Wow. So a lot lighter. Yeah. Yeah. Then you get slightly smaller baskets like this one. This can take up to 16. The one behind it is a little bit bigger, but a little bit smaller than this. Two words. So, yeah. But this is like an Airbus A318 ballooning. This is a big balloon. Oh, okay. Going into the A here. You say that with such confidence, but it just doesn't. Where are the wings? <laughs> <laughs> Safest form of air travel. Is it? Yeah, absolutely. Because it's a, it's not a destination. It's not like you've got to fly from Plan A to oh, okay. to, to B, and it's yeah. not a destination. It's it's a joy flight. Yeah. So we we pick the best days. So all I'm doing now is just my pre-flight checks, making sure I've got enough gas, which is always a good thing. I guess that is quite important. <laughs> I've got plenty of hot gas, but I don't know <laughs> quite enough to get this puppy up in the air. I'm not sure where this blue light should be on here. That's a bit of a worry. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. Move then. Yeah. All good.
So this is really cool. We're getting an insight in how all this happened. So we were just upstairs and the boys were going through their wind mapping for today. So there's a slight northwest this morning, I believe. So Jay, northwester this morning? Yes. Yeah, so they've been upstairs analyzing uh, what the conditions are today. And now they are picking their launch site and uh, we're getting a bit of a different experience that we're going along with them for the whole ride from um, set up here in the factory onwards. Okay, so what's this for again, Jay? It's just to kill any bugs, any bacteria, anything that could be that pose a threat to any of the landowners' paddocks. Oh, that's pretty much hot. Let's get out and have a look, see what we can see. You see the flashing red light down there? Yes. So it's probably sitting at about 2,000 feet. You can feet. go, okay, it's climbing yeah, 300 feet a minute. Look, yeah. it's now moving out. One, so let's say off 154 degrees. So I know that higher up is tracking 154 degrees, which is uh, tracking towards the southwest. So that gives me an idea of what we'll be doing when flying. And also what I'm observing now, does that match up with all the different models and wind forecasts that I observed at the shed? While you guys were downstairs, I yeah. was looking at all the different models and forecasts. And putting all this together, and it's not an exact science, I work out, okay, where's the best place to launch? Where are the most suitable areas to come into land? So I'm already thinking about a possible launch site um, for this morning. I better let you do your job, mate. No. <laughs> I, I can see there's no room for distraction. No. <laughs> all right, so this is a excellent bit of technology. This is our flying area. Oh. That's where we are. Wherever it's blue is good. Oh. Wherever it's red, don't land. <clears throat> okay. All the yellow yep. are power lines. We're one of the few companies in the world to have a special overlay map of a KML of all the power lines over both our flying areas here and up in Cairns. Oh. What that does is that from the air, and you'll see today when you fly, you can hardly see the power mm. lines from the air. Mm. We obviously look out for where the poles are, where the strands would be, but from the air, you can actually see where they're running, which mm. is fantastic. So today... That's where we're standing. Young Zenden was just telling me we've got Northwesters and possibly Wyatt's, which is the furthest northwest launch site we have. So I'll take a measurement. And remember on my compass, I said we had 160s. Yeah. So that's 126 bearing. Let's do 160s. So if we get that 160s, like what we saw, it'll take us back into this valley. And here we have lo lots of options. We've got with Logan, Carter, even if it swings a little bit that way, we've got all these blue areas we can fly, we can come down towards. And what arrangements do you have for the property owners? Every time we take off and land, we actually pay them. We put a coordinate into our GPS and every month they get money put in their account. Some guys get a few thousand dollars a year. The thing is without landowners, yeah. we don't have a business. Yeah. when we're about to start the fan then i'll, I'll show you exactly sure um yeah must have been 4 a.m or just after 4 a.m and uh the boys are now setting everything up we'll just stand over here put it in the car but i just flash any questions just shout eh? for our social media stuff
Great dividing range, Warwick is that way. What height are we going? We are now at 1,800 feet still climbing, climbing at about 600 feet a minute. Great channel, great. Jay, yes. How long have you been flying? Two and a half weeks. <laughs> Two and a half weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. Uh, I love the uh, response I get. Um, 25 and a half years. National Game Park. Yeah. I've oh, seen everything from. I've seen lion kills. I've seen. I mean, it's, it's what an experience to see wildlife, African wildlife from Berlin. Did that for six years. Just amazing. And then before that, I travelled all around South Africa, different places, different balloons. Yeah, incredible. Going with it. It's staggered. It's crazy. One higher and then the other one higher. It's got us two kangaroos, eastern greys, four. Uphill, ready to go. Not bad for no wheels, hey? <laughs> Two and a half weeks, not bad job. <laughs> That's it, there we go. Yay! Thank you. Did you all enjoy that? Yes. Awesome. You don't pull this one while flying. Material is what we call Nomex. It's what racing car drivers wear. It's heat resistant, fire retardant. And then the rest of the balloon, you can see it's a different yellow. Yeah. It's a type of nylon. Very silky, very smooth. Good job. Did you do that for you? No, it's okay. I'll just grab this and then. How did you rate that for an experience? It was so good. <laughs> it's so crazy. Now I won't have to go. I wonder what they can see from up there. <laughs> we survived. Thanks, Jay. Thank you. It was amazing.